All right, Shalawam, Shalawam, Yasharala. This is another GMS Rally collaboration once again. Through the spirit of Papi Hapa, I'm the brother Naquam. I'm the brother Kapasha. Before we go any further, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our heavenly father and to his only begotten son yahweh yahweh bahashem bahashem yahweh shah yahweh shah bahashem bahashem rakakurash rakakurash and next up double honors to our apostles who now the bishops of great millstone who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100 percent truth According to the Bible and Ruel, and Shalom to other Akims that's out there in the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah out of fear and in sincerity of heart, man. You know, and pretty much we're going into, you know, hey, man, you know how these false teachers and leaders are leading our people into a path of destruction, man. You know, so bring out that first precept, Baba Kashar. Yes, sir. The book of Matthew, the 15th chapter, the 14th verse reads, Let them alone. Mm -hmm. They be blind and leaders of the blind. Yep. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Right, so the follower as well as the leader, man. Here it is, the leader, he don't know, you know what I'm saying, how to break down the scriptures the right way. He's teaching false doctrine, you know. And even those who know that they, you know what they're teaching is lies, but they still got they got they sold out, man. They paid off, man. So they're blind. The Lord blinded their minds, you see. And then also the Lord blinded the, the minds of their followers, man. You see. So that's why Lord Yahusha said he gave that comparison. If a blind man leads the blind, you know what I'm saying? They both shall fall into the ditch, man. Which that ditch represents destruction. Okay, like it's illustrated on the screen that I got here in the background, man. You see one 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 blind guy at, at, at the uh at the at the uh top or the uh in front. You know what I'm saying? You got two more people in the back and they're about to fall off the cliff, which represents destruction, man. And that's exactly what the two thirds of our people are gonna get from hearkening to these false teachers and leaders, man. Read it over one more time. Yes, this is the book of Matthew, the fifteenth chapter, the fourteenth verse reads mm -hmm. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. The blind lead the blind, both shall go into the ditch. Right, and Lord Yahweh was pretty much, you know, hey, referring to the the wicked uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, man. You see, because they was teaching the uh, false doctrine, man. They didn't have the one hundred percent truth like Lord Yahweh Shah did, you know. So they there was a uh, uh, like the scripture says a little leaven leaven up the whole lump. So they had leaven in that doctrine, and that's exactly what Lord Yahweh Shah told them to watch for which was that hypocrisy man that pretending to be men of the lord but they really wasn't man you know so the followers that's following that false prophet teacher leader they both gonna get destroyed man according to the bible bring out the next one Barbara Kishore. this is the book of isaiah the ninth chapter the 16th verse read for the leaders of this people caused them to err. Boom. See, the leaders of this people caused them to err. See, the leaders, man. You know? Even those, you know, starting off with those who know that they're Israelites, but they're teaching lies, man. You know, one example is saying that the MOTB isn't the CHIP, man. They're saying it's something else other than what the scripture says it is, man. You know? So the, the leaders of these people are causing the rest of our people, which is the undesirables, the two thirds, to err, man. Even when 2020 with the spotty juice came out, man, you know, the false teachers and leaders of us were promoting it while we, you know what I'm saying, we, we didn't indulge that, man. We trusted in Yahweh by Shem Read that one more time, Baba Kashar. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. Right, this people's referring to the Israelites, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, according to the CDO father. You know, pretty much the word err goes into to lead astray from the truth, man. You know? As a matter of fact, I got the definition right here. The word err means to be mistaken or incorrect. See, they going off, man. They're not speaking according to the scriptures. The doctrine that they pushing is incorrect, you know? It's not backed up or validated by the scriptures, man. 
Read on. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Yup, but destroyed for what? For their lack of knowledge, man. You see? Because they've been blinded by the Lord, man. So they're going to believe in a lie, like the scripture says, you know. And then there, it was just a lot to be, to, to get deleted, man. However, y'all about Shemel Shah sees fit, man. You know? So the blind leaders that's following the blind, uh, the blind followers that's following the blind leaders, man, they both going to get deleted, man. You know? Seventeen. Uh, no, that that was it. Okay. Bring out that next one. Okay, let's go to Matthew. Okay. Yep. We're going to uh, Matthew. Yep. Third chapter. Right. Verse reads: mm -hmm. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! See that back there? What I said earlier through the Spirit. This is Lord Yahweh Shah. Warning about the uh the wicked, you know what I'm saying, of our people, man. The wicked leaders of our people. He says, Woe, which means destruction, unto you wicked scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, man. Which the word hypocrites mean a pretender or an actor. Read on. For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. Mm -hmm. A proselyte is pretty much a, a a a convert, a new convert, man. Read on. And when he is made he make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself. Right, and why is that? Because you filling his head up with those false philosophies, man. That 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 uh that that toxic wine, man. You see, so the the, the follower, you know, what I'm saying, becomes wicked or just uh wickeder or just as wicked as the leader, man. You see, so you make him twice as much. As the child of the child of hell, as yourselves, man. That's why they both going to receive destruction. Okay, read on. Verse sixteen reads: Woe unto you, ye blind guides, yep. which say, "Whatsoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing; but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple." He is a debtor. Mm -hmm. See, Lord Yahusha says, Woe unto you, ye blind guys, man. Why is that? Because, hey, they, they're teaching our people lies, man. You see, they're making our people go off, which is owed to me. Yahweh by Shem you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, not wanting them to come into the truth. So they pretty much get into undesirables like the elder apostles always go into, man. You know? So, hey, the, 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 the end result of that is them getting deleted, man. According to the scriptures, you know. Okay, verse seventeen. Uh, that was pretty much it. Okay. Matter of fact, uh, let me read this quick commentary right quick, cause it kind of goes in. Okay. This is Matthew twenty-three and fifteen. It says the uh, the Pharisees' converts were attracted to Phariseeism, not to Yahweh Bashem Shah. So they was pretty much attracted to lies instead of the truth. It says, by getting caught up in the details of their traditional laws and regulations, they missed Yahweh Shem Shah or Yahweh Shah to whom the laws pointed. It says, a religion of works put pressure on people to surpass others in what they know and do. It says, thus a hypocritical teacher was likely to have students who were even more hypocritical. It says we must make sure we are not creating Pharisees or wicked Pharisees by emphasizing outward obedience at the expense of inner renewal. So it was uh there was it was a bunch of hypocrisy, man. That's what Lord Yahweh Shah said to beware and watch out, man. The scripture says scopeo them, man, mark them, man, which caused the visions, man. Cause they're a bunch of daggone hypocrites and spreading lies. You got that last one, Barbara Kishon? Yeah, I have that, that precept, Luke 639. Yes, sir. And he spake a parable unto them. Mm -hmm. And the blind lead the blind. Mm -hmm. Shall they not both fall into the ditch? And that was pretty much a rhetorical question, man. Lord Howard Shah says, look, can the blind lead the blind? Which the answer is no. Shall they both fall into the ditch? 
And yeah, man, you know you are, man. You know, like like Lori Howard Shaw said, man. You know, you follow a blind leader, he don't know what he's talking about. And then the Lord got you blind, and so you believe in a lie. You know, you just become as much of a hypocrite as the leader. You know, so that's gonna lead you to the path of deletion, man. You see. Because if a blind person leads you, he's not going the right way. He's just going, you know, wherever he's going to, man. You know, he's not being guided the right way, you know? So that was it on that, my brother? That was it, my brother. So, hey, Khan, hey, Lord's Wind, this is edifying. Through the Spirit, probably how about Shemel Shah, by Shemel Kakwadash. You know, Lord's Wind, until next time, me and the Kapashia say Shalom. Shalom.